Welcome to this exploration of Aristotle's philosophy of eudaimonia, a concept that has profoundly influenced ethical thought throughout history. Often translated as happiness or flourishing, eudaimonia represents more than just a passing feeling. It's about realizing our highest potential and nurturing a life filled with meaning. In this video, we'll dive into Aristotle's insights on living virtuously and contributing to the greater good, uncovering how these ancient principles can inspire and guide us even in today's fast-paced world. Aristotle was born in 384 BCE in the northern Greek town of Stagira. He was a student of Plato in Athens and later became the teacher of Alexander the Great, influencing him and other rulers of the time. Aristotle's ideas stretched across ethics, politics, logic, and even biology, making him one of the most influential philosophers in Western thought. His work, particularly the Nicomachean Ethics, lays out the concept of eudaimonia, presenting a detailed view of what it means to live a good life. For Aristotle, humans are inherently social creatures, born to thrive within communities, or the polis, as he called it. The well-being of an individual is interconnected with the health of their society, emphasizing that personal fulfillment contributes to a thriving community. This mutual dependency shapes the foundation of Aristotle's ethics, cultivating virtues and fostering harmony between rational thought and emotional well-being. In the Nicomachean Ethics, Aristotle asserts that achieving eudaimonia, human flourishing, depends on leading a life rooted in virtue. Virtue for him is more than a moral guideline. It's essential for reaching our fullest potential. Central to his philosophy is the golden mean, the idea that virtue lies between two extremes, deficiency and excess. This balance allows us to avoid the extremes of behavior and cultivate qualities that align with our true nature. For instance, courage is the balance between recklessness and cowardice. Honesty lies between deceit and harsh bluntness, while justice involves balancing personal interests with fairness toward others. Aristotle emphasized that these virtues are not innate, they are habits that individuals develop through repeated practice and self-discipline. By consciously choosing virtuous actions in everyday situations, people shape their character and build a foundation for a life well-lived. Central to Aristotle's philosophy is the pursuit of happiness, which he views as an enduring state rather than a fleeting pleasure. He argues that each action we take is directed toward achieving some form of good, but not all goods are equal. For instance, pleasures such as wealth or physical comfort are lower forms of happiness, while higher forms of good, like intellectual achievement, meaningful relationships and moral virtue, offer deeper fulfillment. While Aristotle recognizes that material pleasures have their place, he insists they are insufficient for true happiness. The highest form of happiness, he believes, comes from virtuous activity that aligns with reason and moral excellence. This is not a passive experience but an active pursuit. Striving to live virtuously by harmonizing our rational and emotional aspects creates a deeply fulfilling life, grounded in reason and integrity. Imagine someone embodying virtues like honesty, courage, and justice in daily life. They communicate truthfully, face challenges with resilience, and treat others fairly, thereby strengthening their character and building trust within their community. Over time, these consistent actions foster a deep sense of self-respect and fulfillment, not based on external rewards but from living authentically and embracing virtues that reflect their true nature. This pursuit embodies the essence of eudaimonia, a life well-lived through ethical practice. For Aristotle, a good life is one committed to virtue, where ethical conduct is prioritized, not only but for the benefit of others. Consider how this principle applies in the professional realm. Achieving fulfillment involves more than status or wealth. It's rooted in practicing virtues such as integrity, fairness, and responsibility. A virtuous professional navigates the workplace with moral clarity, treating colleagues with respect, and leveraging their skills for the common good. This behavior does more than enhance personal satisfaction, it aligns with a broader vision of human flourishing. Each individual's ethical actions reinforce the collective health and prosperity of society, illustrating that our choices can have a positive impact beyond our immediate sphere. 
In the end, Aristotle's concept of eudaimonia reminds us that genuine happiness isn't derived from fleeting pleasures or material achievements, but from an ongoing journey towards self-improvement and community involvement. His philosophy suggests that a life devoted to virtue guided by reason, integrity, and ethical principles enables us to realize our highest potential and foster the well-being of society as a whole. Thank you for joining this exploration of Aristotle's timeless wisdom. As you reflect on your own journey, consider how these principles of virtue might shape your daily actions, enabling you to contribute positively to your community and find fulfillment in living in harmony with your values.